I'm just gonna play that last one. You can tell that it's a different time just because of the fact that just the words indie and underground just slowly start to lose its meaning because uh, what does that mean in the internet? In the internet everyone's equal almost. You have the same platform and you have the same tools to use. <laughs> Well, of course, in this day and age, we could collaborate with anybody around the world. It happened with the internet and the social media, initially the MySpace. Back then, it was pretty revolutionary. Now, now you know, people have moved on to different platforms with the SoundClouds and whatnot. Well, initially, Salome emailed me and told me about the One Plus One project uh, via email because we had been conversing over email for maybe a good two or three years, but we had never met face to face. Production, making music is such a personal thing to me. I always do it in my, you know, my own uh, home studio alone and just experimentally just work on things. I don't, no one sees it. No one sees, no one sees the final product. And until I get there, I, there's different stages and there are lots of failures, there are lots of tears and heartbreaks. So at first, I, I kind of wondered if I really want to do it because, as I said, I've always that that part of the production is always for me so personal. But then I thought maybe I should challenge myself and do do this and see what happens. I've only met Salome once in Japan, briefly face to face. So it's kind of been more just reading each other's vibes, really what what's really important to them. But we're I think we're both pretty open-minded about just creative processes, so. Yeah, I'm gonna finish writing this because I have to transfer the paper so I can read it. Do you want to do that want part we're gonna exchange the, what to do in Japanese? I mean, usually I don't. Us meeting in Hawaii in a very neutral environment and but still having the common language of using the same kind of tools and same kind of music, hip hop vernacular, you know, I, I think it's going to be great. I use my voice and I use some unintelligible words that are not real words. I almost made up a language because I just wanted to see how it is to sing without really saying anything and just using your voice and just using this uh, sounds. Well, Salome is, she's basically building the track, the instrumental right now, and we have this common idea of being a traveler, being a passenger in this so-called global existence where we, we really don't know where we're going to be in the next year or two. Just switching cultures and being okay with it, I guess. Being able to adapt.
So right now we are working in an area called Kakaako. It's a warehouse type district. Over the last 10 years or so, Kakaako has blossomed to be a creative hub of independent artists. And for me, most notably, this uh, uh, mural art project called Pow Wow that happens annually out of Honolulu and Kakaako. Working, working in Hawaii is just great because the atmosphere is very relaxed, uh, very open. You don't have the very busy feel that you're working on the clock, like, you know, you got to finish this by a certain time. And it's very relaxed. I, I love it, you know. Today is July 13th, Monday, and I actually in the morning in the news I read that uh, finally they're going to reach a nuclear deal, uh, Iran and the world powers, uh, on Tuesday, so I was expecting tomorrow, but when I got at home and turned on my computer and it was like breaking news, Iran nuclear talks, deal has been reached, Iranian diplomat says, and yeah, it was great news, I was really happy just before he came in, it happened, and I'm like, yeah, so last night I had this idea to uh, bring in uh, Matsuo Basho, a famous Japanese haiku foot um, line, which uh, translates to uh, every day is a journey and the journey itself is home. Um, and I really liked like, that line from him and I thought it was related to the, to the uh, song, so we actually used it, uh, the Japanese version of it, and uh, we, we, we did it together with Shingo, so I thought that was really cool was our last day actually in London that lane. Uh, it was a great space, I'm kind of sad actually. I wish we had more days in there, but also there was great food everywhere around it. Uh, but we basically could wrap it up, you know, get it to a place where we can actually mix it uh, tomorrow at the Blue Planet. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. So hopefully tomorrow is gonna be a great day. Yeah, so um, this is day five, first day at Blue Planet Studios, just got here. We're about to track our vocals and we're gonna mix the track at the same time. Very excited, you know, start of the morning fresh. The passage. Yeah! Passage is the middle of the page, lifted as a paraphrase, all praise to the sages. Ha ha, one more time. Ha ha ha. You best go find your soul in the lost and found the fulfilling it, feeling it over in another session intimate. High rises to tenements, come on. Today's day six of our studio and the final day at Blue Planet Studio, west side of Honolulu. So today we're gonna lay down Nick Kalakini's saxophone. He's gonna add just a little bit, spice it up at Blue Planet Studio where Jules is still working his magic with the mixing. So at the end of the day, we'll already have the final mix and then we'll hopefully master it as well. So we'll have the complete song, instrumental, vocals, everything, and we'll be done with the project. I think that, uh, when I was first coming here, I really didn't know what kind of track we're going to make. Uh, but I think I can't imagine because the impression I had from Hawaii since my childhood, it's going to be kind of a happy track, I guess. But they, then during the conversations we had and everything, we kind of went to a dark place from starting from a ha happy ideas of, you know, how distances you know, the world got smaller and we travel a lot more and we see a lot more now and we are more connected as human beings. But then we start questioning that, are we really? And then from there it started to get a little bit dark. So now the song is, uh, obviously has positiveness in it, but there's an element of, you know, dark in there. So it definitely turned out very different from what I thought before coming here is gonna happen. So that's kind of interesting.
paraphrase your page to the sages Our passion is a fruit and the seed of a labor A bit bittersweet but better with age Still sharp as a saber Tooth and the truth that we speak on this frequency Used to spit these hot sixteens like a sophomore crush Looking back that was cool, now I'm ready to shoot To kill a mockingbird, but not the messenger Back full of goodies, I did the passenger Front of ones across borders, the sons and daughters Evolution of a consciousness Come on. I feel that my pick on him, I don't hit take out the body man. Give me time and she did have you so me cut for so I feel that my pick on him, I don't hit take out the body man. Give me time and she did have you so me cut for so Miguel Moko Jela Mosa Fera Miga Man, as part of Moko Vema Berry Shit up on Dan, Rabulun Dan, Hati is a mina. Rango kalo mam ke ta yin gare fasla Migan mo hoche ma mo dofe a migan man Az vakti ke mo orisam e kishe chapun dan E te lo o te no soze gor bo bum soze go onam Bo tanam e fshoye harchi ke kozeb da onam Bano bari miram tona shode diram Beshkaram divar bekanam zanjiram Ich haqiqati ro viso on lag zoram Ame khabiyat o ro nespi pendaram Masir geli e nis red carpet Poshte dar kasi nis pi هیچ خاکی بی صاحب هیچ سحنه ی بی خاطب هیچ قرم و ورقی نیست بی کاتب نمی دوم قدم آم شمرده است احاد من جاری نیست سپرده است با یه جب تا یه راست نه شانس نه تاست تا تو بسل اون نخواست خونه موز اینجاست مسافر فردا اونجاست مسیر من بی کار من راه تکرده بار من هی بی تابی نیشی که تابی آسو می کرد This project went so smooth in my mind and also I keep saying that it, it's such a luxury to work on one song in seven days. <laughs> it would have been definitely stressful if we tried to finish three or four songs or try to finish an EP in seven days, which is not impossible, it's totally doable. Mm -hmm. Just to work on things simultaneously, we mm -hmm. totally could have done that and that's usually my workflow. Have two, three beats going on at the same time, you write one. So just the fact that we could focus on this one song and nurture it, it was a laid back experience. I mean, I, I used to do this when I was younger. I was going to university and I just hang out with my friends and go to the studio all day, definitely. So it kind of reminded me of those times too. And so having this whole week and only doing this, so yeah, it's, it's definitely great to have this kind of opportunity. Just another day for me. <sighs> No, no, schedule-wise, <laughs> okay. it's, very, it's very special <laughs> having access to all these uh, amazing team and engineers and people around us. But it's great, you know, when you have an idea and you have, have a starting point and you gather people for a concept and everyone's happy with the result, what more can you ask for? <laughs>